Oh, this is great. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Well, this is incredible. Literally the second rock I flipped, I found this lovely ring neck snake. Look at these beautiful colors. What gorgeous yellows. And if you look closer to the tail, it starts to turn more red. Excellent to see this little snake. He is starting to smell quite bad too. Well, today we have decided to go, and I say we, I'm by myself. Um, I decided to drive up to the Greenhorn Mountains. Now this is in Kern County, California, and we have all sorts of great things to find here. We've been here a number of times before. And so this is one of our usual expected species, this lovely ring neck snake. So this is a good sign that we found one so early in the day. So I am just excited to see what else we'll get. The whole plan is to start here in the mountains and then to move down into the Mojave Desert and hopefully do some road cruising at night. And who knows, we might get a whole variety of things today. All right, let's drop this guy right back where we found him and start looking for the next thing. There, oh, skink, skink, oh, skink. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes, 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 yes. Stop biting me, stop biting me. This is a beautiful juvenile Gilbert skink. What a pretty tail. It is so blue. I need to readjust my hands a little bit so you can see it a little better, but I do not want him to escape. Young lizards like this, or even old lizards, I have such a hard time capturing because they are so quick and I'm always worried about dropping their tails, but this is amazing. Look at the color. All right, buddy, right back to where I left you. This looks good. Woo -hoo -hoo, a mouse. Look at that. Whoop! Oh, there it goes. That was cool. I knew this rock looked good. This is definitely some tough work. These rocks are heavy and they're usually even heavier when you're trying to put them back just the way that you found them to preserve the habitat. Hopefully we'll find some more things. We got that one ring neck under our belt and uh, a lovely skink to boot, but you know, we flipped a lot of rocks already, starting to get kind of tired. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping for at least a gopher snake or striped racer. We'll see what that, what's out there. Oh, another skink, another skink. It's under my leg. Oh, let's get this one. Well, what luck. We caught another skink. This is another Gilbert skink. And of course, you can tell from that lovely blue tail and those lovely lines, the other lizards that are in this area, like the fence lizard, are usually dark, much uh, very scaly. Uh, we'll have, we may see an alligator lizard. None of them have these blue tails like this. Um, but this is again a juvenile. You can see a lot of the streaking in uh, the body, around the body. Um, that's, those are our main field marks to identify this as a skink and not those other lizards. Now, these guys are so hard to catch. I am exhausted. They're super fast. They don't stop moving. And I'm always scared that they're going to drop their tail. So I'm glad that this guy has his tail intact and he's here with me to take a lovely look at. Let's go put this guy back right under the rock that we found him. And hopefully we'll have another lizard or another something to share with you. All right, buddy, go back under your rock. See ya. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Check this out. Woo. We have been flipping for a couple hours now and finally got some salamanders. These are the gregarious slender salamanders. Now, we basically just have to go off of range in order to identify these guys. We're a little bit west of the Greenhorn Mountain slender salamander, but maybe we'll find it later in the day, but at least this is a good slender to find now. Okay, we've got a little hopper. Oh, don't, don't come here. All right, I got him. There he is. This 
is a Pacific chorus frog or Pacific tree frog. They used to be three separate species. They've grouped them into one. This one is absolutely gorgeous. They're highly variable in color, but often I find them to be very green when they're, they're young. He's jumping off there now. I think we got a good look at him, so we'll let him continue on. Nice. Whoa, look at that. Nice and coiled up for us too. Well, don't, no, 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 no. We want to get a good look at you. I'm so sorry. Let me put your rock back. This is, of course, another ringneck snake. Very, very beautiful. You can see he is now pooping on me. Uh, and I love that these, the ringnecks in this area, I'll need a second to settle down, but you can see his tail gets coiled up into that, that, um, I guess it's just a coil. I find that, oh, it's pooping everywhere. I find that this is not super common across all ringnecks. It's really just the ones uh, in certain areas. And so it's kind of neat to see that behavior uh, out here. And they'll usually uh, put it up in the air. So that way, uh, you know, they show off those bright red colors. So pretty cool to see. It is starting to smell really bad. So we're going to put this guy back. We've already put his rock back and move on. Thanks, buddy. Right back to where we found you. Oh, this is exciting. Right there, we have a rattlesnake. Let's get up and close. Not too close. Let's see what it is. Well, this snake is a sidewinder and it is known for its sideways locomotion, which is very efficient traveling across the sand out here in the desert. Another cool feature of these snakes is they have horn-like scales above their eyes. It is believed that this helps protect them from sand getting in their eyes as they travel through their sandy habitat and burrows. Lots of caterpillars. Oh, alligator lizard. Let's see if we can catch it. All right, so yesterday the weather got really cold right after we made it to the desert. So we came home and today we're out in Riverside where I was hoping to be a little warmer. It's still pretty overcast, but we just got a first creature. This is a little Southern alligator lizard. Now, a couple things that I want you to note for the diagnostic, you can see those little white flecks in the banding. That is one of our field marks for Southern versus Northern alligator lizard. And also if you look at all those black lines on the belly scales, for the, oh, look at that, he's pooping. Uh, for the southern alligator lizards here, those black marks are in the center of the scales versus on the edges. So cool to see this guy. This is just a, a very young juvenile. Um, they get much, much bigger than this, but it's excellent to see. I don't want that poop on me. I've had a lot of things poop on me. So we're gonna let this guy back and see if anything else is about. All right, thanks, buddy. See ya. Oh, nice. All right, look at this beautiful gopher snake. There's actually two in here. The other one's actually kind of in the ground, a little hard to get to. So look at this beauty of a gopher snake. Now, if you guys are regulars on the channel, you know that these are some of my favorite snakes because they're big and they're not aggressive. They bite very rarely. And this one is definitely being really calm and chill with me. It's wrapping its hand around me now to get a better grip. That's great. And it looks like it has a little, might have a little eye infection or something or like a stuck scale. Um, hopefully the next time it sheds, it'll get rid of that. Otherwise, it's a very healthy looking snake. They have these lovely yellow bellies. Um, and sometimes we even see some other colors as we go into different subspecies of them. So this happens to be very close to the highway, as you can probably tell, because uh, all, the, all the noise in the background. But really, what a lovely cooperative snake today. We're going to let him go back to his mate and uh, hopefully we'll get some more stuff. Who knows? All right, thanks, buddy. Go on under. 
You gotta let go of me, though. <laughs> there we go. All right, it might be, it's not gonna be out visible all that long, but there's a little California vole for you. Short tail, kind of fat. More like pointed face than a mouse. Well, we'll let his, uh, put his board back and see what else there is. A little baby gopher snake. This is that little gopher snake that we just flipped. He, I don't know, maybe he's one, maybe he's two years old. He's certainly not, not that old. Much, much smaller than the other two we saw earlier. And it's only about a five minute walk away. Excellent to see this guy. He is just really enjoying my arm all wrapped around it. And uh, just keeps, <laughs> keeps tying knots. Now we're gonna put him back as we do all of our snakes. Hi. Cool. There are a ton of California voles here. I don't know why they want this spot with all the ants. I mean, maybe they're eating some of it, but I think there are four or five. They're kind of scattering. I'm going to put their board back so they don't get too freaked out. Put it back nice and gently. Most of them, I think, are still under there, but you can see here's one of the paths that they use. I see them scampering that way. Here's another path in and out of the board. So they'll be fine. All right, we finally caught a fence lizard. These guys have been zipping around everywhere yesterday and today. They're so fast. This guy just didn't win the game. You can see he's got a little bit of blue. It might be a female, it's hard to tell. Not a lot of blue, so maybe a female. And uh, you can see that yellow right down here. That's one of their diagnostic field marks to differentiate them from the uh, like the sagebrush lizard um because they can sometimes look similar and you got to look closely at the scales so nice to get this is like the most common lizard throughout california so it's nice to finally have this in hand it's actually the first one i've caught all year so excellent to get one more guy on the board very cooperative and like always we'll put him right back where we found him see you Zip. Oh, nice. Another nice little gopher. You can see his eyes are very blue. That means that he has a shed coming up and I'm sure he will be as brightly colored as some of the ones we saw earlier today. This is a nice little guy here. Let me put his piece of cover back, give you a better look at the full snake here. Yeah, just, just a little guy. And like I said, he's gonna shed probably pretty soon and have some really nice colors. But let me put him right back because we have seen a bunch of you guys already today. Well, I just got a Western toad. You can see from that lovely cream dorsal stripe, this is an excellent way to end, the, to end the day. It's getting pretty dark. We did pretty well. We got a good variety of species this weekend. So I'm pretty happy, even though the weather is pretty cold. It's all the way in the 50s already. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. This is a Western Toad, and I'll see you in the field.